Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be discussing some theories to do with Godspeed and the original timeline Flash. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by Darkfire Heroes, a new game from Rovio, the creators of Angry Birds. Ever since I first downloaded the game, I've been playing it non-stop every day, and have even gone as far as creating a clan where some of my subscribers have battled against me. But what is Darkfire Heroes? Darkfire Heroes is a fantasy RPG game that is available on Apple and Android and is free to play. You have the ability to level up your heroes and their spells as you prepare to fight your way through the game's campaign and many other game modes including battling against your friends in your clan that you can create. Choose your heroes to assemble the best team possible, build strategies, fight off against bad guys and unleash your character's special attacks as you play. There is an almost infinite number of ways you can go around playing Darkfire Heroes as you're in control of your team's every move. Not to forget, that there are more than 75 heroes, 20 magic spells, and hundreds of skills and additional gear pieces that can be added to your arsenal. So go get Darkfire Heroes using my link in the description below and begin your conquest to victory. So without further ado, let's actually get into today's main topic. So today's main topic, we have a big theory and this theory is Thanks to Flash First, he came up with a lot of it. Obviously, I'm going to give my own thoughts and like how I think this could play out in the show, if I think it's like a real deal or not. But you can go check out his YouTube in the description below. Also, we have some extra theories to talk about because some of you guys have sent in some questions that's going to be going down later in the video. But for now, let's go ahead and actually talk about this first theory. This is to do with Thorn, Barry, and Godspeed. Okay, so we know that we have this big Flash family team up happening very, very soon, but we know in the finale, Reverse Flash is going to be showing up. Now, the big question surrounding Reverse Flash showing up is, why the hell is he here, right? That is a huge question, because why is he going to be helping Barry and Team Flash and the Flash family take down Godspeed when maybe he has nothing to do with it? However, he definitely has something to do with it, because he's showing up and we all know Thorn. We know that Thorn does everything for himself and he doesn't do anything for anyone else. It's all very selfish and self-centered. So there is obviously a reason for him showing up and trying to take down the real Godspeed. So now what could that be? Well, let's go into this. So Thorn would need to work with Barry because, and there's a big because, there is a chance that Godspeed could kill Barry during the Godspeed War, right? Because it is very dangerous, obviously, as we've been shown so far. Although no one's died yet, there is a possibility that it could get very lethal and a lot more brutal than it has at the moment. So with all the Godspeeds going around, obviously there is a chance that Barry or any of his teammates could die. However, Barry would be more of interest to Thorn. And why would that be? So Thorn can't actually take that risk, because if Barry dies before this specific night, and we're going to get onto that specific night in a minute, they will never end up traveling to the night that Nora Allen is murdered, aka Barry can't die before he becomes the original timeline Flash. So this is super interesting, and I'm not saying Barry's literally going to become that exact original timeline Flash. No, he's not going to be exactly the same as the person we keep on seeing in all of these different seasons. No, he's going to be a bit different, but he's going to be pretty similar to that because it's a big time loop. This is the one defining event in Barry's life. Everything always goes back to that night in some way or another. So that is possibly, and I think this is a very good theory, that is maybe why Thorn shows up. Like if he wants to save Barry so that it doesn't mess with his future. Because, you know, this is also very important for him because he's always supposed to be there. And if he is defeated, like in Flashpoint, the timeline is screwed, right? So he obviously doesn't want to mess with the timeline because he knows this event has to happen sometime in the future. And if Barry is dead, that's completely changed. Like, Barry can die after that night, after they go back. But if he were to never actually go back to that night, what would happen is every journey that Barry's had so far would have been a race because if he was never there in the first place, 
The old version of Barry would have never saw the original timeline flash, and every time he's gone back to there he's made decisions which have been kind of dictated by that version of the flash, you know, holding his hand out being like, no, don't do it Barry. And if Nora were to never have died, we would basically have a new flashpoint timeline, and Thorne would definitely know that. So. What do you guys think about that theory? I think it's a very good idea. I think it totally could be the reason that he's going to be helping Team Flash. But let's move on to the next couple of topics. Okay, so this is coming from you guys on YouTube. You can go over to my community tab and you can comment any topics, theories, ideas or questions that you have regarding the Flash, Supergirl, Superman, Lois or anything else regarding the Arrowverse. Maybe it's crossover stuff you're interested in. But let's go ahead and get into the first question, this comes from Satoshi on YouTube who says, Which do you think Barry will most likely become? The blue future Flash from the comics, the murderous Barry Allen, in brackets he puts, Negative Flash from the Negative Flash storyline, or Savitar? Well, I think this is an interesting question and I picked it because I thought it was interesting. So we've seen Negative Flash before. That's kind of what we got with Bloodwork earlier last season, so I don't think that's going to be happening anytime in the future because that's already been done basically, right? I know it's not exactly the same as the comics, but it is essentially Negative Flash, like that's what they did. And so obviously there's a chance that he becomes Savitar or creates that time remnant who becomes eventually Savitar, like theoretically he would 100% have to create that time remnant otherwise Barry's past is going to be screwed up and that could also change the timeline so theoretically like he has to create Savitar in order to continue on living like it's a time loop as well and so in regards to the blue future flash from the comics I would love to see that I love that costume I love that suit I think it's awesome I really do like that storyline with him turning into a murderous Barry Allen and I think lots of people will be excited for that so I think that's a possibility, I don't know how that would go down, but yeah, maybe sometime in the future. Okay, let's move on. We have a question from Avery on YouTube. Avery asks, is the new Prime Earth Zoom going to be in the Speeds of War episodes? So that is a valid question, obviously in the latest trailer for the 150th episode coming this Tuesday, they include a tagline which has special guests, so obviously this has people guessing like, is there going to be more people like, is Wally going to show up? Is Jesse Quick going to show up or anything like that? However, obviously special guests, that means Jay Garrick, which it shows in the trailer. It also means Reverse Flash, which they haven't announced, but we know he's coming. Obviously, we talked about that this video, so it's not really like a huge spoiler if you watched the video already. However, people have been asking, is there going to be any other special guests? Because we know about Jay because he's shown in the trailer. Is the only other special guest going to be Reverse Flash? Or is there going to be more to the special guest kind of tagline that they've got for the 150th episode? And so if Zoom were to come, I would love that. Like a new Earth Prime version of Zoom would be awesome. However, it seems like what they're doing with this episode is they're mainly focusing on the good speedsters. The bad speedster is obviously going to be Godspeed and that is a fact, like they're going to be taking down the clones, I reckon they're probably going to defeat the clones by the end of the episode, however, I don't think it's that likely that Zoom is going to be showing up, considering they're not bringing back lots of the other villains, obviously I think Reverse Slash is like an exception, only because he is so heavily linked to Team Flash, and I think he has a lot of other reasons to be there, rather than just showing up out of the blue. Okay, so very good question. Let's move on to one of the final questions. This comes from Ajmas Gaming on YouTube who asks, Do you think Iris had speed from restarting the speed force and Barry didn't notice? So this is talking about speed to Iris. It was confirmed maybe like a week ago or so from now. Basically that in the finale, speed to Iris is going to be returning. So you're going to see Candace running around in her XS style speedster suit and she's gonna have her purple lightning running alongside XS So that's gonna be awesome Like I said in that video if you haven't checked it out go check it out It's on the channel right now or if you missed any recent videos go check them out. However, I did mention 
obviously, like, there is going to be a reason for her coming back as Speedster Aris. You know, maybe that is part of the special guest billing that they're doing. However, the question is, how did she get her speed? Now, lots of people are theorizing that her speed is coming from her being pregnant. Now, this is a very solid theory because we know it definitely affects speedsters at some points and it affects people who are going through pregnancy if they have like a partner who is super powered and potentially their like children could eventually get powers and we obviously know that their future children West Island's future children do have powers so it's very clear that maybe she is going to get her speeds of lightning just temporarily while she starts to be pregnant essentially but I think your question is very valid about her getting her speed from restarting the speed force and Barry didn't notice. Like, that would obviously be very sneaky if she did that behind Barry's back. I don't think it's super likely, but I like your idea and I like your line of thinking. It's very different from what I was thinking. Obviously, I'm in the line that I think she's just going to be pregnant and she's just going to get temporary powers. However, you know, I guess there is a possibility, so good question there. But that's about it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you to Rovio who sponsored this video, so go get Darkfire Heroes right now. It's in the description below, also in the pinned comment. It's available on Android and Apple. Make sure to use my link, that would be really helpful if you guys did that. Also, thanks to the members, including Nathan Bell, Arava Scenes, Ginelli Gonzalez, Tom Sixsmith, and Jamie Harley for actually joining in and playing Dark Fire Heroes with me. That was part of our monthly Zoom members call, and we had a very, very good time playing, and I couldn't have done this without them, so thank you to them, and thanks to Rovio for bringing this video to you guys. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and so I'll catch you guys later. I see red.